The prompt for day 14 was Art Deco. Get to do some really nice geometric designs for this one. So I knew it was going to be a pattern, so I was starting out on a plane, just so I can get the whole thing worked out in my head. I knew I wanted this kind of overlapping offset tiles, and that always means that you've got one set and then a set which is 50% offset, so I have my tile sizes that combine X, Y, Z, and then I can scale it by 0.5 and use that for the offset. So I want this kind of radial pattern of petals. So what I've done is I've just taken a radial array and multiplied it by by sign. That just gives me the, the waves and then added that to a length gradient out from the center. And I'm just doing some function of it here through the RGB curve just to give me a bit more interesting waveforms. Working out a little bit of masking here on the top so I can cut off the kind of miscellaneous edges above the final petal just so I've got entire petals. I want to layer up a few layers of the petals so that I've got like a kind of receding shape a little bit, give it a little bit more depth. Um, I only end up using two of these uh, but I need to go back to this map range essentially, the, the one that's defining the number of petals that I'm using. So that allows me to give the offset appearance and then really just working out, fine tuning with these combined with these uh, RGB curves, making sure that I've got something which looks kind of satisfying. And then I'm drawing the thickness of those lines with a compare node that you can see there. The epsilon is the line thickness. Um, so I've got more or less the pattern that I want and I'm just adding a few extra little pieces, this little bit of dead space in the center. I wanted to have some sort of geometric design on there, a little bit more art deco. So just starting off with a circle and working some things out. I ended up going with a kind of crescent moon and a few little shapes. So I'm using ping pong to set the, to set everything to repeat correctly. I can essentially push my shape outside the ping pong region and that allows me to get that kind of ellipsoid shape. So I'm just adding a few things in here just in anticipation of the animation I know that I'm going to want this kind of unfurling of the wings so I just wanted to get those both on a slider just so I had them available. Now actually getting the masking of the two layers together I've got the mask of the overall shape and then I'm just multiplying that by the Y gradient so it's darker at one side and then I'm using a, a, a difference, combining two together and then using a difference to work out where they're actually overlapping and masking that out with a mix. So it's uh, quite a neat and easy way to do it. Art Deco is all about gold leaf, certainly you see a lot of gold leaf anyway. Um, so I've just create this kind of cold leaf material here. I'm going to use the mask with a mix shader in a moment. So I just need the background wallpaper color and the foreground gold color. So just a mix of noise, Voronoi and Musgrave here. Musgrave gives me the general kind of high frequency, almost rust effect, rust pattern that I'm just using for the roughness. And doing the same thing for the background wallpaper color using a kind of dark purple and blue kind of mixing between those two just to set off the gold. I'm trying to work a way to make the gold look like it's sort of embossed a little bit and I realized I was going to originally just render this with Eevee for speed but ended up wanting to use the displacement as well just to lift it up a little bit. Sorting out all of the various bits of the animation there's four kind of key moves that happen. The wings unfurl and then the thing compresses in the y-axis which means all of my tiles need to shrink in the y and then I need the x-axis to shrink when the wings fell in and then I also have that kind of slide across between the rows so it's all dependent on data calculated previously so for example when I'm calculating the size of my tiles 
I have to use that tile size when I'm working out the offset so that I'm doing it responsively as things slide across they're going in a whole number of X units and they're also it's alternate rows of the Y unit a lot of the rest of this is just tweaking animation speed and pacing making sure that it's somewhat satisfying to watch and make sure that I've got the lighting right. <laughs> 